Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says education and employability are essential to Singapore's progress, and he's urging Mendaki and other Malay Muslim organizations to break new ground in these areas to further lift the community. He spoke at the self-help group's 30th anniversary dinner tonight. In the last 30 years, Mandaki has launched many initiatives to uplift the Malay Muslim community. Significant progress has been achieved in the area of education. The Prime Minister noted the proportion of Malays going to post-secondary institutions is at the highest in 10 years. But new targets must be set. We must push those who are excelling to their fullest potential, mentor them, tutor them, put them on the protégé programs. Help those who are average, doing okay, to do better through targeted programs. Ensure that children from disadvantaged families also receive a good education. So we raise the whole pyramid tier by tier. Mr. Lee said the next few decades will present new opportunities and challenges. The world will become even more connected and globalisation will expose Singapore to foreign influences and international competition. PM Lee noted that a special committee has been set up to develop recommendations to strengthen the Malay Muslim community for the future. Mandaki also has plans to build expertise and groom younger leaders. Mandaki is looking into a talent development program or TDP encompassing our young professionals. Our intent is to identify young Malay Muslim professionals that have the potential to go further and then to incentivize them to develop further in their field of choice. The focus here will be in disciplines very much needed by our community. Another initiative is the Rizwan Zafir Community Awards, launched in honour of the accomplished community leader and diplomat who died last September. The awards worth $200,000 in all, aim to help promising professionals in the public and social service sector pursue their postgraduate studies.